and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming your way next. Toronto Blue Jays. Okay, all set to go. And now here is Brandon Lau. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages, guys that have been around the clubhouse a lot? They are not afraid. Being in an intense game, 40,000, 50,000 people screaming. That's like being in the backyard for these guys that have grown up with the big league dad coming to the ballpark all the time. So they're very comfortable in this environment. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Lau out on the play, and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. One down, base is empty. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Makes the catch crashing into the wall. No, oh, that takes a lot of concentration to haul it in when you know that wall is about to stop you in your tracks. Really nice play and nice focus right there. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it. And that is out number three. Bottom of the first. And now for the Jays, George Springer. The wind and the pitch. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Bo Bichette up to the dish. One, one down. And misses inside. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Kicks and deals. Rip to short. Franco picks it up. Over to first. And Machete is retired. Two outs. Base is empty. And now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And now one and two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Now with the shift on, pits right into it. Franco on to first. And that is the inning. Back here at Rogers Center, top of the second. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy Arozarena. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. No score here in the second. to left center for a line drive base hit. That Runner on at first with one gone. Yandy Diaz now. Yandy. 
Swing and a ball lifted to center field. And that is Springer. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Manuel Margot. Batting seven. The right fielder, number 13. Manuel. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So Margot is aboard. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Mike Zanino. Next offering is down low. Three and two now. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Choi, the lead runner out at second. Margot at first, two out of the inning. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is that. Back now in Toronto. We head to the bottom of the second. Now here is Teoscar Hernandez. Next pitch is inside. It's two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. And now the lefty. Popped up. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. And here is Matt Chapman. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Here comes a pitch. That clips a corner. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. And now, Alejandro Kirk. Ground ball to the right side. To first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Welcome back. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Three, and two. Three, two on the way. Stays alive. And the righty deals. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand batter waits. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. That's back there. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Gotta love the over the shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. And now it's Brandon Lau. The wind of the pitch. And a breaking ball catches the corner at the knees. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 
Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Chapman to second, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. Next nope. pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. And he deals. That one missed. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And the 3-1. On the ground to first. Can't glove it cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Danny Jansen to hit here. The 1-1. One -one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one back there. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. He's in at second with a one-out double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And the batter is George Springer. Fought off foul. Runner at second here, one gone. Stays alive. Man at second. Not even close there. And it's two and two. And the pitch. And that one hammered. On its way. Off the batter's eye and gone. George Springer leaves the yard. And they throw a pair on the board. It's two nothing. Bo Bichette gets a chance to hit. Grounded out his first time up. Late swing. Fouled off. And a pitch. Right field down the line. And that one slices foul. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Still only one out here in the inning. Out towards right center field. Pulls it in on the run. Two away down. Now it's going to be Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Grounded out to short in his first trip. The pitch. Curveball drops in there. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch misses way outside. Two outs. And he walked him. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. High fly ball out at a left center field. A Rosarena makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Here is Austin Meadows. 
And here it comes. And yeah, that's outside. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And a quick out number one. Bill, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Kicks and fires. And there's a the ball. On the ground to short. Bichette whips it to first. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. The next offering misses. And it's two and one. The pitch. Misses outside. Three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. On the ground right side. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Runner at first with two away. And stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. On the ground to third. Out number three. Back here at Rogers Center, and it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone here. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Next pitch is downstairs. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Gone! Matt Chapman hits one out, and they add on. It's 3-0. Next is the designated hitter, Alejandro Kirk. Got him looking. And there are two down. Santiago Espinal, the next to hit. The why to kick the pitch. That misses, and that's ball three. In the air, left field down the line. That drops in, plays it on a hop. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a blue pit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Now it's Jansen to hit. The pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Here's George Springer. Two and one now. Two aboard. Popped in the air. Left field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back now in Toronto. Manuel Margot up to the plate. 
is a 1-1. And that's downstairs and outside. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. I got the count. Two and two. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. One away here in the fifth. Now here is Mike Zunino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count, one and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 1. He flat out to right this first trip. And that one is lifted in the air. Hernandez drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the number two hitter, Bo Bichette. And it is two and one. And a pitch. And it's even up. That one lifted to left. A Rosarena going back on this one. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. The first baseman. Ground ball right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Oh, the throw is wild. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. At the belt and fires. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Josh Fleming comes on now, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's Guriel. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine to Franco for one, and that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Brandon Lau. Righty delivers. In the dirt, two and one. This ball's chopped on the ground. Fires over to Guerrero. Lau out on the play. Now batting Wander Franco. And the right hander deals. Pitch in the dirt. Two and one. And he deals. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Hey. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. The pitch. 
and that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that wall. Now it's Austin Meadows. Here comes a pitch. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Franco over at second. Meadows at first. One gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals, and now the count is even. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Swings here and blasts one left field, and that one is out of here. Randy Rosarena blasts one out, and it ties it up. It's 3-3. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And now the first baseman, G-Man Choi. Going to count one and two. The count is one and two. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. That one ripped. That's back there. And that one is off the batter's eye. Wow, out of here. G-Man Choi bops one out of here. And that gives him a lead. It's 4-3. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Julian Merriweather. He's into the game with the bases empty. One out, bases empty. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Next offering is downstairs. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Up the middle, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Digging in, Manuel Margot. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. That was a moonshot. And they add to the lead. It's 6-3. One down. Here's some real power at the plate. Mike Zunino, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one hammered center field back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Mike Zanino pops one out of here, and they add to their lead. It's 7-3. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Ross Stripling. Here's Kiermaier now. Left-hand hitter waits. A little bit low. Count is two and one. The wind of the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Right-handed reliever. Rolls slowly to first. Guerrero handles the chance. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Lau at the plate. He has... As they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back 
here at the ballpark. Here's Matt Chapman. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Bounced up the middle. It's in and out of his glove. He decides to eat it, and they come away without an out. So digging in, Santiago Espinal. One for two. Next pitch is outside. And now the lefty, Kirk, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Comes a 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Welcome back. Here's Wander Franco. Left-hand batter waits. And now two balls and a strike. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Out to short. Leaps at the wall but can't haul it in. He doesn't have a throw, and they can't get the out. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. Austin Meadows now. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the pitch. That one ran Ooh, inside, almost strikes. got him. Nobody out, runner at first. Oh, that oh, one God. almost gets Brandon. him again. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, struck him out. One out. Man at first. Next to bat will be the Rays four hitter, Randy or Rosarena, for the fourth time tonight. Next pitch has popped up. Chapman has a beat on it, and he makes the catch. And there's two down. G Man Choi next to hit for the Rays. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival, take your game to another level. Two outs. And now two and one. We got two balls, one strike. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. Two and two. Now moves to first. Franco back in on a dive. Next pitch in the dirt. Counts full, three and two. Kicks and fires. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the Toronto catcher, Danny Jansen. And here it comes. Stays alive. The pitch. That's down and in. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. 
and that's going to get into the corner. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Really stayed inside that baseball to send it to the opposite field. With the shift onto the pull side, that's an easy knock if you'll take it. Strike two. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Now all lead it up. And now it's filled up. Runner leads away at second. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. George Springer takes him deep, and they cut into the lead. It's 7-5. Now on the mound for the Rays, Matt Whistler. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. And next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. The 1-1. One, one. And another ball. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. In for a strike. Now it's 3-2. and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah, a little slider action. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. And he reluctantly takes his walk. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Tying run at the plate. On the ground, two ball. Over to Lau. On to Choi. Double play. And now Teoscar Hernandez. fouled off and a pitch swing and a miss struck him out and that's the third out Back here at Rogers Center, we go to the eighth. Now up for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. In the air, right field. And puts the squeeze on that, and there's one down. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. 2-2 two, down. Two and a foul ball. The punch out there, two away. And now the catcher for the Rays, Mike Zunino. One for three. The wind and the pitch. And that one fouled off. Next pitch downstairs, and it's three and two. To the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. JT Shagwa into the game, and he'll work on holding this lead. Back 
now in Toronto. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now for the Jays, Lourdes Goriel Jr. The pitch. That's ball two. Off the mark there. And that's ball three. The pitch. Hot shot to third. And it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And here is Matt Chapman. Runner at first with no outs here. And the tying run is on base. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Alejandro Kirk now at the plate. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Next offering is down low. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. And he grounds one to the right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Out on the toss to the pitcher. Runners advance to second and third. Here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. And he deals. Come back to the mound. In plenty of time to first, two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Two outs, two in scoring position. Next one misses, and a count two and one. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. In the air, right side. Margot puts the squeeze on that one, and that's the inning. Kevin Biggio, he's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. Also entering the game, Reese McGuire. He takes over behind the plate. Now catching, number seven. New pitcher now, Ryan Barucki. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Number 56. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. The wide to kick the pitch. Liner snagged it first. Now at the plate, Brandon Lau. This guy has turned into a beast. The 1-1. And that's through there for a strike. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch just misses. And the count is two and two. And that's outside. Payoff pitch. And he chases that one. And there are two outs. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Wander Franco. The pitch. In the air, left side. 
Franco gone on the play. And that is the third out of the inning. A new arm into the game, the righty, Andrew Kittredge, trying to protect this lead. Number 36, Andrew Kittredge. And welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And now the center fielder, George Springer. And the right hater deals. And it is two and one. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. Here's the 2 2. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Smash to the left side. Throw over to Choi. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Stays alive. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two two now. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Righty delivers. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Blue Jays have just one out left here. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Right-hander kicks deals. Way outside. And it's 2-1. And when you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Next pitch is outside. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Just one strike away. He swings and fouls one off. And the righty deals. And he walked him. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Teoscar Hernandez getting ready to hit. Next offering misses. And a count two and one. The tying run at the plate. Late with the swing there. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, this was a fun game all the way around. We saw plenty of action. 12 runs total on the board, but a pretty close finish at the end. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.
score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays. Seven runs on.